There are so many secrets on the shores of Singapore worth showcasing and protecting. And today, we will be looking at some of the most incredible and beautiful wildlife that glows in the dark. And we have Hazel, our friend today, to help us with live! This dude used to be my colleague. Today, I am their PA. The beach looks great today, but we will wait for the sun to set and for things to turn dark before we head further down. So by glowing in the dark, I don't mean glow glow because that will be bioluminescence where an organisms can produce their own light through a chemical reaction in the body, you know, like a marine lamp. So that's usually more common in deeper waters. But our version of glow in the dark is when we shine a UV light on them and it glows. And that is biofluorescence. This happens because some things, whether alive or not, can contain special substances called phosphors that can absorb this UV light and then re-emit the light out in a different form, which is why it will glow in various colours that are different from the original UV light. So your t-shirt will sometimes also glow because your laundry detergents contains phosphors which makes your shirt white but it also glows in the dark. Ooh. One piece! Oh, and so you're one piece fan. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm also one piece fan. One piece for life. So when I use my normal light, it seems that there's nothing there. But once I change to a UV light, you can see the barnacles, they're actually feeding. So it's like they have an outer shell like a tiny volcano and then their tongues are just like coming out and eating everything that's in the water. So cute! Oh, oh my goodness, they do it! These are the egg sacs of the spiral melongina snail. I know very long, just think of it as a sea snail. That lays the zipper like egg sacs. The sea cucumber glows. The cyanetic one here, there, can you see? Do they glow? Uh, well, nope, they don't. They don't. <laughs> eh, is this a crab that's alive? Oh my god. Hello. Oh, you just molted. No wonder. Oh, yo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a freshly molted crab. So crab they mold because they got too big for their shells, right? So they will take off the outer shell and then there will be a moment where the shell is actually soft. So this is your soft shell crab also. Yeah, when you eat soft shell crab, it's actually just freshly molted crabs of any kind of crabs. It, it glows, right? Like It's considered glowing. Considered glowing. Any idea why crustaceans glow? So animals such as horseshoe crab and scorpions, right? Scientists have found that there's a layer on, in their shell that has the pigments that glow under UV light. So that might be the reason why crabs, prawns and other crustaceans also glow uh, because technically they're all under the same big group after all, basically animals with shells. Yeah. Oh! Guys! Hey! What, what do you find out? It's a mold of horseshoe crab! <laughs> and so you look like a warrior with a shield. <laughs> huge light, right? There's a rambutan looking thing but it's actually a white cell messy sea urchin. It's an echinoderm so I don't think it will glow, right? I don't know man. What's Shall we try? Uh, same group as sea star, sea cucumber, sea urchin. So Ooh. one, two, three. Yeah. But I don't. I, I wouldn't count it. <laughs> it's not counted glowing. Compared to the horseshoe right. crab. Yeah. So uh, who are all these people here that are on this beach today? What do you mean those people over there? Oh, over there. Yeah, that's quite a number of them. Oh, yeah. Those are usually enthusiasts or researchers. But sometimes you actually find like poachers or even people who come here to like dig up random bed. stuff. If I'm not wrong, right, there's actually a group on WeChat that that they call this activity Kan Hai. Kan Hai? Yeah, like like rushing into the sea. So you oh, rush in. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I think Angie found something. Let's go and find it. Oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Coming, coming, coming. What do you find? I think it's the draconet. Yeah. Oh, so cute. And yeah, they just go around crawling on the sandy bottom to find for food. It's a carpet anemone! It's the same one that we always see last time, right? Yeah! I think it glows! The reason why sea anemones glow uh, is similar to the corals. Basically, they also have this algae body inside of them to help them make food, right? And these algae bodies, under the harsh UV light of the sun, they can actually escape out of the sea anemone or the coral, and that's called coral bleaching or anemone bleaching. The green pigments inside of them actually acts as a sunblock to help these animals survive better, you know. So they will take in the UV light, and then they will break it up and modify it into a form that is less harmful. Then they shoot it back out, which is 
the color that the glowing colors that we are seeing right now. We found a hitching anemone. So this is a type of sea anemone that's very cute. It's like a grab hitch, you know, they hitch it right onto anything that they can attach themselves on. You can be rocks, shells, or even on other animals. Do you think it glows? I don't know. It's an anemone, right? Yeah. Should, right? Let's try. One, two, three. It doesn't it. I found a dragon ball. Uh, yeah, but it's just a plain sand star that's placed on top of an inflated ball sea cucumber. Yes, it's filled with water. It's, it's placed on top by somebody, so it's supposed to be down on the ground here. They're both in the same group. Lah. So if one glows, the other should Same glow. group as in like, their cousins? Mm, along with the sea urchin and sand dollar. So how, how can this ball be the cousin of this sea star? So did you see sea star got five legs, right? Mm -hmm. Five arms. So you cut the sea cucumber. Don't cut, but if you, may, if you cut it into half, right, you can see the five five-sided <laughs> symmetry. So that's how they know it's from the same family, echinoderms. Oh my god! Yeah! So it's a kind of flat fish and yeah, you can see it's like very flat, right? It camouflages very well. Both sides of the ice is on one side. So when it's first born, it's one on left, one on right. Then as it becomes an adult, the other one will join on the other side. It's like a tiny roti <laughs> Do you think the random sea grasses glow? <gasps> Okay, it doesn't glow glow, but it becomes like a this reddish colour. No. There, there's a stream there. Can you see? He's burrow burrowing himself. Swimming anemone! So this is a special anemone that likes to detach itself and swim around to find a new location if it needs to. So it's called a swimming anemone. Oh, it glows red. <laughs> Usually sea anemones, they like to stay on the ground, they don't want to get dug up, they don't want to move around that much, but this one is a bit different, yeah, it likes to swim around. But still, don't pluck it off when you see one, just leave it be, okay? If you happen to find it swimming, then lucky you. Eh, eh, fanworm is out, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, this is rare, this is like a money shot. It's a snapping shrimp, so you can see like, it's as though it, it trained one bicep and then forgot to train the other. Lah. So it's like, effectively Hansel every day. Lah. <laughs> Hansel trained both. Lah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, now, now got girlfriend only already. <laughs> the beach and the insider zone is a really special place where many wild animals thrive and we can always come here and explore. So it's important that we all work together to protect this place. I've personally seen that it's become a trend for people to come here to pick up animals, to dig carpet anemones off the ground and some even bring it home. So please refrain from doing so and if you see others doing it, encourage them not to bring it home and release the animals because the animals belong here and chances are if you bring it home, the conditions are not right and the animals will die. So yes, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy this special episode of The Glow in the Dark. And so, do you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was a fun time today. <laughs> I learned a lot of interesting things. <laughs> Especially the flat fish. Ah. Yes, the flounder. Prata, the prata-looking fish. Prata. Yeah. One, two, three, go. Just yeah. keep thinking.